Hill today. They're rolling. I imagine it'd be a safe bet to say there's still some celebrating going on, even as we speak. I bet. <laughs> First of all, folks, you have to kind of bear with me as I give you my froggy impression tonight. But the last time the Illinois uh, Fighting Illini I beat Ohio State in football was back in October of 1967. The score that year was 17 to 13. Well, as you probably know by now, the Illini pulled a repeat performance this afternoon at Memorial Stadium before a homecoming crowd of more than 73,000 people. The result was the same, 17-13 Illinois. Dan Rowan has the story of the biggest Illini win in years. Illinois and Ohio State, the game that more than 74,000 in the stadium had been waiting for. It was billed as a defensive struggle, and the Illini D got the first points of the game. Mike Tomzak in the grasp of Illinois' defense, and he's picked off by David Edwards. Gone. 47 yards for the touchdown. Tomzak was intercepted twice before he left the game as a result of a concussion. The stadium was rocking with a 7-0 Illinois lead. The second Tomzak interception came under heavy pressure again. Mike Weingrad with a wide receiver imitation for the Illini. From there, Jack Trudeau got it going, hit wide receiver David Williams on a crossing pattern, and Williams gained 20 yards on the play, well into Ohio State territory. That set up a 33-yard field goal by Chris White into that strong south wind, and Illinois was up 10-0 on the seventh-ranked team in the country. But the Illini weren't exactly playing mistake-free football either. Two first-half fumbles, this one by Joe Miles with only 26 seconds to play in the half, and the Buckeyes took full advantage. With four seconds to play, Paul Allen came on and hit a 32-yard field goal. Ohio State on the board, 10-3 Illinois at halftime. From the Illini standpoint, the third quarter was an absolute disaster. After the kickoff, Trudeau throwing under heavy pressure, and Kelvin Bell picked it off. State ball at the Illinois 30-yard line. After a procedure penalty, Keith Byers blew through the middle and went the distance. 35 yards for the game-tying touchdown. The Buckeye contingent had something to cheer about. 10-10. Next possession for Illinois, Trudeau was crushed trying to pass the ball. He lost it. Roland Tatum was there for the Bucks, and they were right back in business. Their drive stalled at the 25, but Allen was right there with a field goal, and just like that, the Buckeyes were on top for the first time, 13-10. It looked like that might be the final score. Fourth quarter, Trudeau had him at the Buckeye 21, but again feeling the pressure, he was intercepted. Kevin Richardson doing the damage. That set Ohio State off on a six-minute, 35-second drive with Byers eating up much of the yardage. He had more than 160 for the day, 18 here, and Mike White saw it slipping away. But on fourth and four at the 19, the defense came to the forefront again. Vince Osby made the stop. 143 to go, and buckle up because here we go. From the 17, Trudeau back and looking for Scott Golden, the walk-on from Argenta, Illinois. That one good for 24. What would the Buckeyes least expect next? The same thing, and that's what they got. This time, a great catch by Golden for 22 more to the Ohio State 37-yard line. After an incompletion, Trudeau rolled to the right, and you'll see him make a wise decision. He tucks it in and goes 16 yards down the sideline for the first down. Illinois, first and 10 at the Ohio State 21. We turn you over to the Ohio State announce team for the finish. You know, there's so much pride in, in the fact that we hung in there as a team and uh, when it was a very one-dimensional game. In other words, it was a defensive game and a defensive effort. And for us to hang in there for 60 minutes and, and take advantage of the last opportunity when we finally got it is a real credit to these kids. There weren't a lot of doubters on that sideline. And uh, there were times in that game when there could have been doubters. What did you see on the call for the touchdown? Did you see Tatum blitzing? I knew it was blitz and, and uh, man, and they were overshifted, as I said, to the one side. So it's a good play. Against They're right. Jack caught up the last. And at the, at the right moment, he saw that the linebackers were blitzing. Um, I read the play. I went outside, and I was able to, to run to the best of my ability. First of all, the, the offensive line executed the play to perfection. And we caught him at the right time, and Jack audibilized to the best 
best of his ability and throughout the game, and it came out of touchdown for us. Uh, they were kind of in, I guess you could say, a passing defense, you know, and Jack made a great call, you know, into a great audible, and uh, we just took advantage of it at the right time. Well, if you like those little highlights, you'll see plenty more tomorrow morning on the Mike White Show here on Channel 3 beginning at 11 a.m.